Hey guys, Casey in the kitchen. I'm going to show you our brand new cherry and olive pitter today because uh, we love cherries. We love to eat them, but sometimes they can be a pain. Well, let me show you how fast and easy it is, especially this summer when you can get a lot of cherries um, at a great price and they are delicious. So right here is the cherry and olive pitter. It has this extra piece here. You can put this down in there for pitting olives because they're a little bit smaller sometimes. Um, but we are not using that for the cherries. So everything is going to go through here. It's going to push these. It'll push out the pit and the pit will be down in the bottom along with all of the juice. And this is super easy to clean too. All right, so we're just gonna take our cherries four at a time. I know some cherry pitters, it's like one at a time and takes forever. So I'm just gonna pop these stems off, put them down in there. And then all we're gonna do is press this down and we pushed the pits right on out of there. So you can now see there's a hole in the bottom where the pit went out. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes a little cross section in there. And there we have, I always like to check the bottoms. Sometimes you have what I call a dangler <laughs> and uh, the pit kind of hangs on at the bottom. It's pushed it through, but uh, it's just barely still attached. We'll do one more here. Again, all we're gonna do is push that all the way down. And then I check the bottoms, that one's good. That one hung on just a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull that off. And those are both good. Awesome, so there's our cherry and olive pitter.